Yes. Yes, yes, a great pain. Ready today. Right. He has used the song. I shall be all right. The job. The I shall be unable to stay this visit. I must unravel a few things. Nurse Ireland and Snow are friendly and respectful, Frederick. I will look in in a few days. Did I do something wrong? No. John, this is a hospital, not a market place. Don't you forget that, ever. I'm sorry, John, not you, me. Well, shall we leave today? Don't you think we need might be fun? So many things are fun, but most men really can't enjoy them. There. Well, John, would you like the promise? Frederick said I may stay here for life. And so you shall. If he is in trouble. Frederick is your protector, John. If he is in trouble. Ah, oh, is that not your mother? She's pretty, isn't she? Will Frederick keep his word with me? His contract, Mrs. Kendall? What, contract <coughs> did you say? And will you? What, ah. Uh, Will I? The prince had a mistress. The Irishman had one. Everyone seems to. Or a wife. I have concluded that I need a mistress. It is bad enough not to sleep like others. Sitting up, you mean. It couldn't be very restful. I have to. Too heavy to lie down. My head. Not to sleep alone. That is worst of all. But the artist expresses his love through his works. And that is civilization. Are you very shocked? Why would I? Others would be. I am not others. I suppose it is hopeless. No, nothing is hopeless. However, it is unlikely. You don't know something. I have never seen a naked woman. Surely in all of the facts, what? I mean a real woman. Is one more real than another? I mean the ones at the theater, the opera. Surely you can't mean they are more real. I mean a lady, a woman not born out early, not deformed by after life. You don't know what their grounds are like, Mrs. Kendall. Someone like Princess Alexandria. Not so old. <laughs> ah, Dorothy! She does not look happy, no. Lady Ellen? Too thin. Then who? Certain women, they have a kind of ripeness. They seem to stop at a perfect point. My dear, she does not exist. Well, that is probably why I never saw her. How could your friend Bishop Howe say all this, I wonder? He says I should put these things out of my mind. Is that the best he can suggest? Well, I put them out of my mind. They reappeared. Snap! And Frederick? He would be appalled if I told him. I am glad. Too little trust has made in my life. That is another story. Oh, what a raid. Are we going to read this afternoon? Yes. Some women are lucky to look well, and that is all. It's a rather arbitrary gift. It has no really good use, though it has its uses, I will say that. However, it does not signify much. To me it does. Well, you are mistaken. What are we going to read? Trust is bad, according to you. I trust you. Thank you very much. I have a book here of Thomas Hardy's. He's a friend of Frederick's. Shall we read that? Turn around. Don't look. Is this a game? Oh, I wouldn't call it a game. A surprise. Well, it was kind of a surprise. I saw photographs of you before we met. You didn't know that, did you? You mean, from the first time in 84? No, I didn't. I felt it while 
have um, just. I can't say why. I can't say justice is my most highly developed characteristic. Ah, oh, well, you may turn around. Well, a little funny, isn't it? It is the most beautiful thing I have seen ever. If you tell anyone, I shall not see you again. We shall not talk. We shall not breathe. We shall do nothing. <laughs> there. No illusions. Now, what else is there to say? I'm very pleased to have made your acquaintance, Mrs. For God's sake, what is going on here? What is going on? For a moment, paradise, Freddy. But have you no sense of decency? Dress yourself quickly. Go. John, are you not ashamed? Do you know what you are? Don't you know what is forbidden? 